Hi, this is Kathy at InkingPaperWithCat.com. Today's project is this sweet little fold flat box that will hold five mini Hershey bars or three Ghirardelli squares. And what's great about this little box is that when you open it up, you can see that it's got the Hershey's in it, but if you take these out, it will fold absolutely flat for storage. Perfect for wedding favors, table gifts, all kinds of things. Or if there's something that you make, uh, earrings or something like that, that you need boxes for, this would be great because you could do them up ahead of time. So let's get started. For today's project, you will need a piece of 5x8 cardstock. This is Flirty Flamingo. This one was Dapper Denim. Denim. Both are new in colors. You need your DSP, and these are really little pieces. You need eight, three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch. And we're using exactly the same paper. This is affectionately yours and it's the same pattern and we'll see how it looks on a different background. You'll need a piece of Whisper White for your stamping and this is our pattern. You also need a tiny piece of the fl Flirty Flamingo for punching your little flowers and a piece of ribbon. This is Flirty Flamingo Roosh Ribbon. It's the new in color ribbon. Alright, let's do our scoring push those off to the side so I don't lose them. Get your Simply Score tool out. Oops, I need to go the other way so you can see. Alright, on the long side you are going to score at 1, 2, 3, 5, Six and seven. On the short side, you are going to score at half an inch, one and a half, three, of oh, three and a half. and four and a half. All right, that's all of our scoring done. So if we look at our pattern, you can see the pieces that you need to remove. So if you put your paper so that it's in the landscape position, on the side you are going to remove these four areas. It's two squares and two small rectangles. So let's just take those out. And we're going to do the same thing on all four corners. And hang on to those little scraps. They're great for punching small flowers and small hearts, things like that. I have a, a little box that I have all of my scraps in. All right, last corner. All right, so you see where we're at. Now we need to remove this small section. It's a small rectangle on all four sides. All 
All right, now we're going to do one additional bit of scoring. So get your stylus and a steel rule, and let's come down a little bit so you can see this. These four squares, right there, you are going to score from the outer corner to the inner corner. All the score lines will go towards the center. So if you line your score tool up, just score. Okay. Now, before we fold and burnish, let's round the corners. And this is the Project Life Corner Rounder. All right. So, let's fold and burnish all of our score lines, except for those that were in the corner boxes, the diagonal ones. We'll leave those the chest and the This one will fold back. If you take those diagonals, you can bend them, give them a little squeeze, and then just bring them in and run your score tool along to give it a nice crisp fold. Let's put our DSP on while our box is flat. And the DSP is going to go there, there, there. Not on the bottom, there, there. There, and you see that I've rounded the corners there, and we need to do the same thing on this piece up here. So, take that little piece, and you need to be somewhat careful. Put it in, and round off those corners. Alright, we're just going to use snail. These are small pieces. This one is not very straight. That's better.
Normally I would put this nail on all the pieces, but because they're so tiny, I find that generally my finger is stuck to them, so it's just as easy to pick it up and go ahead and lay it down on the paper. All right, so. Now if you fold your box in, There it is. Let's put our holes in it. And for that, we're going to use a quarter inch circle punch. And line it up. And punch. Alright, now to adhere your box, what you want to do is, let me show you, you can see that these two triangles on each side have been adhered to the side of the box. So we're going to use some fast fuse for that and you just want to go in. And you could also use double-sided tape, which sometimes I think is easier, to be honest, when you're working in these little tiny areas. Okay, fold it over, press down, fold it over, press down, and now when you pop up your box, there it is. Now when you go to use your box, then you could go ahead and put some adhesive in these areas to keep it really securely closed like that. Or you can leave it the other way. I mean, it works. It just has a little bit more give in it. But if you tie it tightly, you're okay. Let's put our mini Hershey bars in. Aren't these cute? They came out for the 4th of July. They're all in red, white, and blue. So fun. Okay. We are using Flirty Flamingo Ribbon. So let's pull that through. Well, not the greatest bow, but we'll go with it for right now. All right, let's stamp our greeting. We are using Love You Lots. It's a hostess gift set that you can get for a reduced price when you purchase more than $150 worth of product or have a party that's more than $150. And we're using Love You Lots. We're going to use Flirty Flamingo ink. There we go. And I'm going to use the Word Window Punch, which has been retired, but there is another similar punch in the catalog that will work. I want to center that.
and then we're going to take that little strip of paper or one of these little cutouts and we're using the tree builder punch and there's a small flower right there on the side and we're going to punch two of those. Let's get out some pearls. And we're just going to put, I think we'll put a medium sized pearl right in the center of our little flower. And then if you just put it on your finger and pinch around a little bit, you can get it to start kind of, whoops, bending up. All right, we'll use the mini glue dots to adhere those to our sentiment. And then we will use some of the little um, kind of half dimensionals that you can clip on the side. there and there is our little Hershey's mini box and let's bring back our other one to me the paper looks really different when it's against the two different backgrounds I think I like the pink one best well, how about you thanks for joining me I hope to see you soon